Hi there, welcome to Kebby Shaves. Very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here for a shave. Uh, it may not look like I need a shave, but if you can hear that, I do. Uh, I'm going to be using a very, very mild razor today. Uh, you've maybe seen from the, the title of the video, uh, but let me show you the soap and brush and stuff first uh, and then I'll show you the, the razor and the, the blade. Okay, the soap for today is WSP Rustic Shaving Soap Vetiver. Uh, this is wet shaving products and I will hold that there. This is the the lid from the tin of soap um, and that has the ingredients around around the lid there. You can pause that if you want and take a look. Yeah, so that's the soap there. Comes in these little tins. I've had this for a while. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful vetiver scent. Vetiver is like a an earthy, grassy scent, but just very nice. I have the pluck, the pluck. I have the pluck blooming. I have the puck blooming. Uh, yeah, in this little tin. Um, yeah, so that's blooming there. I shall use that as a little pre-shave in a, a moment or two. Uh, the brush for today, uh, which has been soaking, is the DR Harris H2 Badger brush. Uh, yeah, nice little brush. This I really like it. Um, not too big a knot, but it's it's good enough. Uh, and there's the DR Harris signature, Chemists and Perfumers. Uh, and there's the logo there. Yeah, St James. DR Harris, 29 St James's Street, London, SW1A. Best Badger, made in England. Yeah, nice little brush this, I really like it. Uh, I'll just put that back in the soaker. Okay, let me show you the razor. Uh, this is a, an above the tie razor. Uh, and this is the handle. This is a, an Atlas handle from Above the Tie. Above the Tie are uh, stainless steel razors, all handmade, very, very nice, good quality. Uh, and here's the head. Um, now, it has, <laughs> it has a rubber band around it just to hold it together. I was actually sent this from Achim. Achim is in uh, Singapore, and he very kindly sent it over to me uh, to, to try it. Was he, he didn't get on with it, he said it was too mild. Uh, so would I like to try it? So yes. So here's here's the head here. Okay, uh, I'll just show you the bottom there. Uh, made in USA, above the tie G1. Now when this goes together, I mean there isn't a blade in it, but just now. But I'll show you it with the handle on, uh, and that, you, you can see the head's kind of wobbling about. That's that's why the uh, rubber band was around it just to hold it together. But I'll show you in a second once I put a blade in. Now, this is based on one of these. This is a, this is a, a modern version of this. This is a, a gem single edge razor. Uh, you flip the top and you put the blade in there. Well, above the tie, I uh, wanted to try and make a single edge, kind of similar, but with a modern twist, obviously. So this is what they came up with, and this is the, the G1 head. Uh, I'll show you the blade for it in just a second, but here's the head first. So that comes apart like that. Now the thing you need to watch, there's the, the top cap, very nice. The thing you need to watch, there's this little um, piece here that fits into this hole here. Uh, where are we? That's it. It goes like that, it sits in there and that's just a let the handle screw on. But I'll, I'll, I'll show you it once it's all fit together. Okay, so here's the blade that you put in this razor. This is a, a gem, gem stainless. It has this little um, protective cover. Um, some people call these blades um, paint scrapers. Let me just get the cardboard off. I'm trying to just uh, protect my fingers here. Here we go, it's starting to move now. There we go, that's it. That's the cardboard off. Okay, so here's the blade here. Uh, gem, yeah. Some people call these paint scrapers because you can scrape the paint from uh, windows and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, so I'll show you how this goes together. If I can, I've, I've put the, the plug in the sink in case this little bit falls. So the blade sits on here, like 
so into those little notches you see the blade in there so that little piece there with the thread that goes through the middle of the blade and there's two little notches at the sides here that just hold the blade in place and then this top cap fits on like that I can put it together <laughs> it's very um, very fiddly trying to do it on camera right okay I'll hold it in place and I'll screw the handle on like that and there it is in place so there's the blade there as you can see uh, underneath is the holes for the ladder to pass through uh, yeah it's a very very nice razor it looks it looks um, it does look modern but it does look similar to this it's very well made but I have shaved with it and it is very 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 mild like it's probably the mildest razor I've used I don't know whether it's just because the angle of the blade there does seem to be quite a bit of um, the base plate there is still showing so maybe maybe if the blade was further down it might give you a, a closer shave but yeah it's a beautiful piece of engineering above the tie um, I'm not sure if anyone else has used I don't think there may be one or two videos on YouTube but um, yeah this is the G1 then so it looks very nice so that's all put together okay let's uh, put the pre-shave on from the the bloom water from the WSP Vetiver. Beautiful scent. Yeah, I've had this soap for quite a while. Uh, I think I've used it a couple of times, but not recently, so. Vetiver is one of my favourite scents. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this razor, just to just to show you. Maybe if you're a if you're a daily shaver, or if you prefer a, a very mild razor, this might be the one for you. Yeah, that's very nice. How you all doing? It's very nice to see you all and. Uh, Thank you for all the comments that have been left in the since the last video. And uh, anyone new watching, thank you very much for watching. And uh, hello and welcome to this uh, channel. And hello to all my usual subscribers and commenters. You know who you are. You're keeping it real on Kevin Shaves. Okay, let me just squeeze this brush out, get rid of that water, and uh, we'll fire into the soap. Yeah, this is a, a little tin, so I thought a little brush might be easier. Just gathering the soap there. Yeah, WSP makes some great soaps. Actually, I'm not sure that this tin might be quite old. They might, um, I don't think they've repackaged them, but I think they're still making them in the little tins. If they're not, someone will know. Someone will. Tell me in the comments. Wow, look at this lather. Yeah, a little tin here, but it's, um, it's loading the brush. Fine. Look at that. And there's mountains of soap on this. <laughs> I probably not need the brush. <laughs> but as you know, I, um, I enjoy every part of the shave from the lathering process to the actual shave it's really good I just enjoy it all ok let's uh, go with the DR Harris H2 Take my time and enjoy this. I'll be quiet and you can just listen to the brush. 
making the ladder. Good. Excellent. Okay. Put some of the heat into this blade. Here we go with the uh, above the tie G1. So what you do is, you place this on your face and you can see this little angle here, that kind of sits on your face and that gives you the correct angle for cutting. Let me see if you can just hear it. Rinsing it. Yeah, it's very mild, very mild. to be treated with respect though because there is a sharp blade in there so just be careful and the thing with these uh, single edge razors is you'll feel when the blade is uh, at the right angle when it's biting on your on your face you'll feel it cutting the uh, the stubble There. Don't be tempted to uh, press down hard. Yeah, that's the only thing with these um, single edges, like like this and like this. They're difficult to get under the nose. It's just not, um, but it's just not cutting much. <laughs> but it's a comfortable shave, nonetheless. And this soap is uh, doing its job. Yeah, um, Akim, who sent this over, also sent some blades. He, uh, he sent 
I think there's about 90, 90 of these blades, maybe more than that actually. Okay, first pass done. Yeah, it feels okay. There's a little couple of viewers there. I think that's from the last shave. But um, yeah, okay, you can still hear. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Nicely rinsed off. Back to this uh, brush and soap. And uh, thank you for all the comments on the uh, the John from um, it were the the show I had last time with the PAA. Uh, a couple of people asked. They looked at the website and they couldn't see it. It's um, I don't think it's been released just yet. I think Doug sent it out to a few people just to review to kind of give them their opinions and thoughts on it. But um, I contacted him. And he just said it would be released soon. I don't, I don't think there's a, an official release date just yet, but it shouldn't be too long. So if you just keep checking back the website. This is a great soap. Very nice. I love Vever. I always want to say Vetiver in French. Like in a French accent, vetiver. Mm -hmm. I love vetiver. <laughs> it is such a beautiful soap. <laughs> is that French? I don't know. <laughs> okay, second pass. Cross the, the growth with this uh, G1 from above the tie. And you can hear it's almost. Yeah, I don't want to keep going over the same spot because I don't want to get them. Um, once you start doing that, uh, then you're open to kind of razor burn and stuff like that if you keep going over and over the same spot. Definitely as a daily shaver, this would be great. Actually, I've not even um, I've not looked on the uh, the above the tie website to see if they're still selling this. I would think they will be. Yeah, the old uh, gem razors, the single edge ones, the ones like like this, they're great to use. Um, people look at them and think, wow, that looks really scary, but it's actually quite mild. Um, as is this razor now, I'm missing it's quite mild. Uh, before I shaved it, I didn't know. Um, if it was going to be mild, if it was going to be aggressive, efficient, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, I've used it a couple of times and I just didn't realise how actually actual mild it was going to be. Nice uh, slickness on this soap. Yeah, and you can see the uh, the leather passes through these holes at the bottom. It's a very good design, I think.
this would be a good razor if you were, um, which I might show you later on, just, just for buffing, you know, just for... That's my noise for buffing. It sounds like a, like a tractor. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, I'll rinse off and come back for pass number three. Rinsed off, but for the third pass, I'm just gonna scoop what's left from here. Yeah, I can still feel quite a bit of stubble here, so. Hopefully the uh, against the grain pass will sort that out. <laughs> There's a ladder flying everywhere. Yeah, so how many how many of you enjoy using a, a single edge razor, either a vintage one or uh, a modern one? Like a modern one like the supply razor. Or some of the PAA. Some of the PA single edge razors, can't remember what they're called. They have the different coloured heads. Is it the Starling or something? Great ladder, this brush just the flow through on it is just really, really good. And it's just releasing the lather very nicely. Okay, and there's still plenty in there. Okay, third pass against the growth with the gem, the gem, <laughs> the above the tie, G1. I guess the G stands for gem. Let's go, let's start on this side. Yeah, you can really hear that. Yeah, like so that. See, I don't want to keep going over that bit just to, to get BBS. And I don't want to start pressing down on the razor just to just to get the rest of the stubble. I'd rather just uh, I'd rather have a close, comfortable shave, just a damn fine shave than a just BBS. With this razor, because I, I I know it would probably take me about six passes. <laughs> That's the thing when you start um, shaving this way, and you hear of guys and you watch videos saying, "Oh, BBS," and you start chasing it yourself. A, a close, comfortable shave than, uh, than a shave where you keep going over the same bit to get rid of every bit of stubble, especially with a razor like this. Um, I could do it, but like I say, it would probably take me maybe four, five, six passes of just going over and over the same bits and uh, that's when, when you can start getting razor burn. You know, you're dragging a piece of metal over your skin continuously. It's not good for your skin.
Yeah, I can still feel that there, there's quite a bit of... Let me just uh, go over it this way. Yeah, that's better. There's still some there, but you wouldn't know from looking. Okay, let me just have a quick rinse. See if there's uh, pickups needing done, and I, I know there will be. Yeah, there is down here and down here, but up here as well. Like I say, I don't want to go mad. I'll just do the usual spots on the neck. Yeah, I don't want to go mad. Eh? I know, it's, I know it is a mild razor. Uh, this is where the buffing might be good. We well, can just do that. Don't press hard. And just go over the bits that have soap. Don't go over any bits that don't have soap on them. Yeah, you can hear that there. Feels good. Yeah, there's still quite a bit here. But like I say, I'm not going to keep going over and over it. I'm just going to call it there. And, uh, an acceptable shave, feels good. Okay, let me see how much is uh, left in this brush. Well enough for a face wash, okay. I'll rub this in, clean up my gear, and I'll see you for the post shave. See you soon. Very well. <laughs> An acceptable shave. Okay, let's go into the post shave. There's lemon witch hazel. Look at this. Yeah, I'm actually um, I'm actually showing some restraint here because I can feel little bits that that uh, nine times out of ten I would usually go, oh, I need to get this a little bit. I can feel a little bit here and there's a little bit here. But um, yeah, I'm showing restraint. I'm not going to keep going <laughs> over and over my skin. Okay, feels nice. Aftershave. Fine, fresh vetiver. Uh, this is based on um, Tom Ford grey vetiver, I think. I used this for a while. This has a lovely scent. A little bit of menthol in it. And there's still a, a little tingle, even though it was a, a very mild shave. Oh, great scent. Beautiful scent. Yeah, see, look, my neck's a little red here. I need to let this heal. Um, I think that's from a previous shave. Going over it too many times. Listen to me, kids. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, don't listen to me. <laughs> That's very, 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 very nice. And I'm going to finish it off with some uh, Taconic Shave Aftershave Balm Unscented. This is good stuff. Comes in this little pump. 
One, two, three, four. That's all you need. This has a little bit of uh, menthol in it too. Yeah, I can feel my skin cooling. And there we have it. What do you think? Okay, a little bit here. Could have got closer. And on the neck, but comfortable shave, a comfortable um, irritation free shave. Although this does look a little red, but it hasn't, it's, I don't know what that is, it's like a little rash. My little trouble spot. A little trouble spot has returned. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go over what we've used in this uh, very mild but enjoyable shave, nonetheless. Yeah, the razor, the ATT Above the Tie G1. Uh, this is the single edge from Gem. Let me just give it a wipe. There. There we go. Yeah, you can see the blade there. It is a little bit exposed, but I think this bottom part here, um, if that was, if the blade was closer to the edge, it might be a little bit more efficient. But there you go, it was okay, beautifully made, nice razor. Thank you, Akeem, for sending the the head over. Um, it was good to use, yeah, and I do enjoy it. If I've only got one or two gro days growth, uh, this this works. The soap, uh, WSP. Rustic shaving soap, vetiver, good stuff. Easy to lather, great cushion and glide, and a beautiful scent. There it is all rinsed out. I'll just leave it like that, upside down for a, a day or two, uh, and let it dry out naturally. Uh, the brush, fantastic. DR Harris H2 Badger brush. I love this brush. Very, very good. Great size, the knot's not too big, uh, the lather, it releases the lather very, very well. It's soft. There's no smell from it. It's great. I love it. Uh, inside that, the razor was a, a brand new um, gem single edge blade. Uh, okay, we then rinsed off, had a little face wash, rinsed off, and then applied some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. The splash was fine, fresh vetiver, and the balm was Taconic Shave, uh, aftershave balm, unscented. And there we have it. Yeah, so people might say, what was the purpose of that shave, Kevy, if you if you didn't achieve a good shave, BBS? Well, it was a good shave, but um, I wanted to A, show off this razor, and B, I wanted to just show you that you don't always have to chase uh, BBS um, when you're having a shave. You don't always have to, even if you've got one or two days growth. I mean, this this is an acceptable shave. It looks It looks fine. Um, you know, I, I know I can feel little bits here and there, but I'm not worried about it because uh, it looks acceptable. If you're shaving every day, this would be a, a fantastic razor, but um, a little bit probably on the pricey side for some, um, but very well made. Stainless steel, it will last you forever. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's good fun to use. Um, but there you go, yeah, that, that was... That was the purpose of it. The purpose of the shave was to say that you don't always have to get BBS. Um, some people chase it all the time. I'll admit it. I hold my hands up and say, yeah, I'm one of them. Um, and it is good to, to kind of chase that, but at what cost is irritation and stuff like that. As you can see, look, there's a little bit down here, probably from a previous shave where I was chasing BBS. It sounds like a drugs. It sounds like drugs or something. I need, to, I need to get the BBS. I need to get BBS. <laughs> No, no, you don't. <laughs> um, you're right, okay. <laughs> Time for me to go, I think. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you enjoy using single-edge razors, and let me know you, what you think about the uh, chasing the BBS. It's great to get it, and um, nine times out of ten I do, because I don't shave every day. I usually leave it for three or four days, but um, when I do, need to shave, well not need to shave, but when I want to shave, like after a day or two, uh, a mild razor is what I usually use. 
uh, and it's not always necessary to chase BBS but um, there you go. I've probably opened a can of worms but um, that's okay as long as we start discussing it. Okay I'll uh, see you in the next shave and I look forward to uh, hearing and reading your thoughts on this. So until the next time take care have yourselves some fantastic shaves uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care.